террористический акт, который унес жизни 334 человек, из них 136. The Kremlin has warned Western countries after Russian President Vladimir Putin changed Russia's nuclear weapons doctrine. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said that changes should be considered as a signal to West and that there will be consequences if they move against or participate in attacks on Russia. Earlier, Putin said Russia could use nuclear weapons if it is being attacked with conventional missiles. The latest development in the Russia-Ukraine war has reignited the threat of nuclear conflict in Europe that may escalate on a global scale. However, this type of situation always leads us back to the question of how much nuclear weapons does Russia have? Russia, the inheritor of the Soviet Union's nuclear legacy, boasts largest nuclear arsenal in the world. President Vladimir Putin controls approximately 5,580 nuclear warheads, according to the Federation of the American Scientists. Of these, about 1,200 are retired but remain largely intact. Around 4,380 warheads are actively stockpiled for operational forces. Among the stockpiled warheads, 1,710 are strategic and deployed. Approximately 870 are positioned on land-based ballistic missiles. About 640 are deployed on submarine-launched ballistic missiles and possibly 200 warheads are stationed at heavy bomber bases. These staggering numbers mean Russia has the capacity to destroy the world multiple times over. The United States, with its own substantial stockpiles, holds similar destructive power. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union peaked at around 40,000 nuclear warheads. The United States reached a peak of about 30,000 warheads. This leads us to the next question. Under what circumstances Russia can use a nuclear weapon? In 2020, Russia published its nuclear doctrine outlining critical conditions for nuclear weapon use. The doctrine specifies responses to attacks involving nuclear or other weapons of mass destruction. It also covers conventional weapons attacks that threaten the very existence of the state. On September 26, President Vladimir Putin detailed significant changes to this nuclear doctrine. The doctrine now includes ally Belarus under Russia's nuclear umbrella. Additionally, any rival nuclear power supporting an attack on Russia could be viewed as an aggressor. Now let's understand who can give the final order to launch a nuke. Putin is the ultimate decision maker on the use of Russian nuclear weapons. The so-called nuclear briefcase or Shigat is with the president at all times. The Russian Defense Minister and the Chief of the General Staff are also thought to have such briefcases. Essentially, the briefcase is a communication tool that links the President to its military top brass and hence to rocket forces via the highly secret Kazbak Electronic Command and Control Network. Kazbak supports another system known as Kavkaz. If Russia thought it faced a strategic nuclear attack, the president, via the briefcases, would send a direct launch order to the general staff command and reserve command units that hold nuclear codes. Putin could also activate the so-called dead hand or perimeter system of last resort. Essentially, computers would decide doomsday by launching Russia's entire arsenal if the Kremlin leadership were facing destruction. However, until now, there is no sign of an imminent nuclear warfare as global organizations like the United States are expected to work on every ground to prevent such deadly steps.